Oh, I was just sad. I couldn't even speak. It's the last episode of the term. All right, I'll come grab ya. Walter, I'm so sad. The term's about to end. You're right, it's not over yet. We need to check off this sad mood. Well, that's better. Let's get back into the show. Hi, everyone. What did you bring me today, Walter? Let's go get the mail and check it out. Whoa. It looks interesting. First, I'm going to get the craft. Whoa! This is the craft. It looks really cool. It looks like that's now. It says, God gives me wisdom. That's really cool. Let's check out the mystery item. What's this? Whoa, it's a map. I don't know why a map is a mystery item, but I guess we have to go check out in Preach Part 1. Okay, I have a question for you. Do you like camping or have you ever been camping? So that's when you're not sleeping in a hotel, but you're sleeping in a tent. Now, I used to go camping with my dad when I was younger, and so I thought I was really good at setting up tents. I thought I was amazing. And one day, I was away at a school camp, and we had to have a race. Now, the race was this. Who can set their tent up the fastest? Now, these were tents that we had never seen before, and so we didn't know how to put them together. And so the person with the timer was like, are you ready? Get set, go! And they pressed the stopwatch. And so we all ran over to our tent, and we all started pulling our tent out of the bag. And so I looked around, and I thought, I don't need to read the instructions. I think I can do this faster than everybody else. I'm not going to follow the instructions. I'm going to do it my way. And so I started ripping everything out, and I started trying to put the tent together, and I thought I was going to win. And I was making progress, and my tent was starting to get built, and then I got stuck, and I was like, wait, what is going on? Why is this tent pole here when it's meant to go there? I'm so confused, what do I do? And I had to pull the whole thing apart and get the instructions out, and by the time I got to that point, my friend who was smart and read the instructions first, one. He had already set his tent up. All I needed to do was stop and read the instructions, but instead I thought, I don't need help, I can do it my way. And I can tell you, that ended badly. And it's exactly the same sometimes in our lives. We can think, I don't need anybody else's help. I can do this my way. And so we don't ask for help. And when people try to come and help us, we say, go away. I don't need your help. I can do this myself. And more often than not, when we do that, it doesn't end well. You see, today we're learning that God wants to give us wisdom. He wants to help give us instructions on how to live a really full life. But just like me in the tent, we have a choice. Are we going to ask God for his wisdom and follow the instructions, or are we going to try and do it ourselves? And so in just a minute, we're going to look at a story in the Bible of a king who had this choice. Does he try and get rich and do things his own way, or does he follow God's way? He makes a very interesting choice, and we're going to take a look at the story as well as what happens when we make the right choice. But we'll talk about that in just a minute. Oh, look at this. I wonder who did this. You said who because it's an owl. It's an owl. Woohoo. Woohoo. This is so cool. Who did this one? Me. Wait, you did this one? Yeah. This is like one of my favorite crafts for this whole term. Let us know how you made it look so amazing. Well, first for the trees, I did green. For the owl, I did a bright orange. And then for the words, I did patterns. I did blue, purple, blue. And then for the next pattern, I did yellow, green, yellow, green. It is so good. I love this so much. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut this out. And what we're thinking is when we cover one of our books later, we might put this as a cover for a book so that we can always remember that God gives me wisdom. So that we can always remember that God gives us wisdom for our lives. I think this is pretty amazing. But you know what else is amazing? There are arts and crafts. Your arts and crafts. So if you do this or any of the crafts, or you just do something cool in class that you want us to see, you can send it to us with the email in the description of this video.
time to see today's Bible story. Let's have a look. Say hello to Solomon, one of the great kings of Israel. Solomon was actually King David's son, the same David that had defeated Goliath. Solomon loved and obeyed God, and so God blessed everything that Solomon did and made him one of the most powerful kings in the entire world. People would travel from all over just to come and see what Solomon had done. One night, while Solomon slept, God appeared to him in a dream. God said, What do you want? Ask of anything, and I will give it to you. Solomon thought for a moment, and then replied, O Lord God, you showed great kindness to my father David because he was faithful to you and had a righteous heart. And you've continued your great kindness to me and now I sit on the throne. But Lord, I feel like I'm just a little child and I don't know how to do my duties properly. Please give me wisdom so that I can lead your people. God was happy with his request. He said, because you didn't ask for a long life and you didn't ask to be rich, instead you asked for wisdom. I am going to give you wisdom, but I'm also going to give you all of the things that you didn't ask for. I will give you both treasure and honor so that in your lifetime, there will be no other king as great as you. When Solomon woke up, he went to Jerusalem to worship God. God kept his promise to Solomon, and Solomon was known across the entire world as one of the most wise kings to ever live. I love this story in the Bible because it teaches us that wisdom is the most important thing that we could chase or ask for. You see, all of the other things that I know that we want in our lives, they actually get better when we have wisdom first. For example, maybe you want to have a really good friend. You don't know how to make a friend. Well, if you ask God for wisdom and he helps you make good choices, you're going to make good choices when it comes to finding good friends. Wisdom helps. You see, the Bible actually tells us in the book of Proverbs that wisdom is actually there to help us and protect us. And maybe you've heard some wise sayings before. Like, for example, there's a wise saying that says, don't eat yellow snow. I wonder why that is there. But you could choose to live life your own way and not listen to wisdom, or you could follow wisdom. Now, obviously, the snow one isn't in the Bible, but the Bible is actually filled with wisdom for our lives. The Bible says that we should honor our mother and father. The Bible says that we should show kindness to other people, even if they're mean to us. Now, that doesn't make sense, but that's God's wisdom. You see, God wants to give you wisdom. God wants you to make good choices that help you. And so God's standing there with this gift of wisdom, ready to give it to you, ready to help you make good choices. And so the question is, will you ask for it? Or are you going to stand there with your arms crossed and say, God, I don't need your help. I can do it myself. Or are you going to say, God, I do need your help. I do need your wisdom to help me to make good choices. Because this is what we're learning today. It's the most important thing today is this, that God gives me wisdom, but he only gives it to us when we ask for it. And so will you ask God for wisdom? Let's all say God gives me wisdom together on the count of three. Here we go. One, two, three. God gives me wisdom. That was such an amazing message. Now I understand why it was a map as a mystery item. But... It's nearly the end of the term. Not yet though, because it's time for the Bible quiz. I'm going to ask you a question and if you think the first answer is correct, put your hands on your head. And if you think the second answer is correct, put your hands on your shoulders. Let's go. Question number one. Who was Solomon's father? Was it King David or was it Ezekiel? You got five seconds. If you put your hands on your head for King David, you're correct. Okay, question number two. Where did God appear to Solomon? Did he appear in the grocery store or in Solomon's dream? You got five seconds. If you put your hands on your shoulders for Solomon's dream, you got it correct. Okay, question number three. What did Solomon ask the Lord? Did he ask for big muscles or 
did he ask God to tell him what was wrong or right? He got five seconds. If you put your hands on your shoulders, you're correct. If you got three out of three, give yourself a pat on the back. Amazing work, everybody. But it's the end of the show. That also means it's the end of the term. I'm so excited for the holidays, but I'm more excited for next term. Thank you so much for watching. But my name's Isla, and I'll see you next time on The Link Show. Bye.